Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the fragrances that have a dent. These are my fragrance mists. There is a tag going around. I was not part of the tag. Um, I seen Shaughnessy do it. And I'm going to do them for my fragrance mist and my perfumes. Um, and when I say shiny, simply Shaughnessy. She's here on YouTube. I seen her do it and I was like, okay, I think I want to know what my dents are looking like. So nobody asked for it, but you're going to get it. These are my dents in my fragrance mist. Before I get started, um, please like, share, subscribe this video. And an update on my friend. If you've been watching me um, from my videos in December, I spoke about a friend that had brain surgery. He's doing well. He went home today. So that's a blessing. And we're going to get started. Okay, I'm going to get started with Cotton, Cotton Candy Champagne from Victoria's Seat. Girl from Bath and Body Works. It's almost done. I'll be able to put this in my Project Use It Up. I'm happy about that. I wore it today. For whatever reason, I couldn't. I don't know. I just didn't finish spraying it, so I probably put it on my pajamas tonight to get done with it next i have another bath and body works this is fresh getaway this one i think yes it was in a project use it up i got tired of wearing it oh i marked it so this is where it's at that's what's left so that would be in my I'm sure in my project, use it up for spring. Whenever I start that one. Okay. Um, this one is Sunset Glow. Oh. The packaging is so dark. Wait a minute. Am I up further? I don't know. I'm going to say I'm maybe about right here. I thought it was lower, but I think it's up higher. I think it's up here. So this is Sunset Glow. I'm not going over the notes. I'm just going to let you know what they are because I have quite a few. I guess maybe I could tell you what they smell like. This cotton candy champagne is a strawberry sweet fluffy scent. Fresh getaway. It is a fresh scent with yuzu fruit. It's airy and bright. Sunset glow is a strawberry, no, cherry, um, vanilla, caramel type fragrance. It's very pretty. Then we have... Pineapple Cove by Victoria's Secret. And we can see where this one is at. It's a soft pineapple scent. Then we have Pear Creme Brulee. This is your um, pretty warm cooked pear scent. It's a little bit sweet. So we're right here on this one. And we have Rainbow Waves, which is a bright, it has sangria in it. So it's a bright, um, for whatever reason, it's kind of watery, effervescent to me. Um, and fruity pretty scent and this is where this one is at that's 
Rainbow Waves. Then we have Sweet Whiskey. This is a berry rosy scent to me. It has amber in it. Pretty. Okay. So we're going to estimate. Well, we can see the line is right here. I just had to turn it over. So it's right here. Got a nice little bit gone from that one. Now, mo so far, all of these fragrances, I got some time in 2022. Yeah. This is um, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. It's a tropical fragrance. And it's a bit um, perfumery. Perfumery. <laughs> it smells good. It's not real. It's not as fruity as you would think. Has more of a perfume scent. And this is where it's at on the dent. Now, I did put wrapped in vanilla in it. I have two bottles. And when I looked at it, I used both of the bottles. So I would say a combination of use from both bottles is about right here. So that's pretty decent. And this is brand, not brand new, but I just got it in December. So that's one of the fragrances that I got at the end of the year. Then we, oh, that's a beautiful vanilla. Probably the best smelling vanilla from Bath and Body Works that I have. This is Rainbow Shower. This is such a pretty, bright, kind of effervescent. Um, it's a pear scent. Beautiful. And that's where this one's at. More than half gone. Pear Glaze. This is your bright pear scent. And that's where this one is at. About half of that, half of that is gone. Then we have lots of people's favorite into the night. Beautiful raspberry cocoa or mocha scent. So actually chocolate and chocolate and coffee. That's mocha. I'm going to say it's about right here. Maybe a little bit less than half. Kind of kind of hard to see. I have Plumeria Beach. This is a pretty fruity scent with rose. Has a... um. Like a watery scent to me. This says Island Bliss. So, there's that. Now, I had some scents in my collection that may have had about that much used. It was a lot of those. I end up taking those back out. I said because it would have been too many for me to show. But anyway, this is Life of the Party. This is a bright effervescent um, vanilla and citrus scent. Quite pretty. And the dent on this one is right here. Just got this one in December. Okay, in the stars. This is your airy, tangelo, woody scent. And it's right here. I think that one is unisex. Okay, so this is fairy tale. They discontinued this one at the end, or for sass, at the end of the year. Uh... This is a pretty orange blossom with vanilla. Smells like perfume. 
I would say it's about half the bottle or almost close to half. So that's fairy tale. I don't know why they discontinued it. A lot of people say that that's their favorite. But this is Summer Melody. I was actually trying to use up half the bottle, which I pretty much did. Because I had two lotions to go with it. Um, two travel size lotions to go with it. So. This is your Honeydew and Vanilla Fragrance. Pretty. That's a lot of people's favorite too. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but I do like it. Now, this is peach macaron. This is a peach cookie. A little bit effervescence. This is a pretty peach to me. And it's about half the bottle. A lot of these I didn't get till um, summer sass. Maybe I should have said which ones I got in Summersass. Too late now. If I remember, I did get peach macaron in Summersass. And the pear um, glaze. But this is Magic in the Air. I got this one in December. And it's... Okay. So it's right here. About right here. Got that much used. Then we have um, Cool and Bright by Pink. This is Chill Pear White Orchid Zesty Orange. I don't know why I read this one. I've never been reading the other one. But this is a bright, fresh fragrance. And we're right here. I'll be going back to work Monday on the January 23rd. So, I'm sure I'll be starting to get more use out of those bright and fresh ones. This is Orange Vanilla Twist. And I'm about right here. A little bit above half. That is a orange, like a creamsicle. That's what that is. So, this is Triple Berry Martini. This is a strawberry berry effervescent type scent. It's pretty and sweet. It's like a drink. Strawberry drink. That's a pretty fragrance. And that's about halfway gone. Then we have Waikiki Beach Coconut. And it looks like I have it marked. So we're going to go with that. Well... I wonder if my markings accurate. I don't know. Maybe it's not as accurate as I think. But that's where it's at when I turn it upside down. So almost at half. Yeah, I think my markings is a little bit off. So, oh. Waikiki Beach. This is a tropical coconut scent. Sweet and pretty. Then we have snowflakes and cashmere. This is your orange creamy vanilla fragrance. And it's marked right here. I believe this one has clementine in it. And it does. It has caramel also. So it's a pretty sweet fragrance. This is Bonfire Bash. I got this one at the end of the year. Well, not the end of the year. In probably with the fall things that they had out. That's when this one came out. And this is a sweet, slightly smoky scent. Has vanilla. Really enjoy that one. Then we have Firecracker Pop. Have a nice little dent going on this. This is a cherry bomb pop flavor. It smells like the picture looks. If you know what a bomb pop smells like or tastes like, that's what 
that fragrance smells like. This is pure wonder. This is more of a fresh soft scent. Has some jasmine in there. Nice and pretty, like a soft perfume scent. Then we have Champagne Toast, less than half left. Bright, fruity, fruity, orange, cranberry, effervescent scent. Oh. oh, we have a couple more. Okay, so this is Victoria's Secret Teas. You can see where it's marked. That's pretty accurate. I wanted to get into that, but I didn't. I had it on my, I had it in my project use it up, but I didn't, I didn't work on it. Oh, the coloring from my basket is on that um, packaging. Anyway, this is Honey Mist. This is a sweet honey fragrance. Simple as that. Honey vanilla fragrance. And that's pretty accurate where it's marked right here. Can layer it with a lot of things, even though I haven't been. Oh, yes. I enjoyed this one, y'all. Or I still am. Let me see. The bottle's feeling kind of light. I'm going to say I'm about right here. On Wicked Vanilla Woods, this is a spicy vanilla scent, and I like it. So it's about right here. That's a nice um, fragrance profile for me. Okay, so this is Beach Nice. Beach Nights. This has um, s'mores, of course, so you're getting the chocolate and vanilla, the marshmallow, the graham cracker, a little bit of saltiness. It's a pretty fragrance. That's Beach Nights. And I didn't even realize I used this much of this one. This is Fresh Coconut Colada. Yep. Above half. This is a coconut rum sweet scent like a drink so we have dream bright okay on this one it's about right here but taking mine I also have a travel spray and I use some of that one but it's about right here so dream bright is a berry vanilla elevated has a little bit of woods or something that's making it deep, giving it some depth. Pretty fragrance. Forever Red has a decent dent. It's about right here. So this is a bright pomegranate. Yes, bright pomegranate and vanilla fragrance. Like that one. Try not to touch the camera this is whipped rose latte i'm above half this is a pretty mocha rose um perfume scent very pretty oh yes this this is a nice scent so that's whipped vanilla rose if you bought the whipped rose or something like that Oh, I might have said it with vanilla rose. I think that's, no, I think it's vanilla rose, something, something like that. If you bought that one when it came out for winter sass, that's the same as this whip vanilla latte. Girl, I made the name up. Whip rose latte. They're the same scent. This is champagne, apple, and honey. Okay, I've used a lot of this. Oh. oh, it's right here. Okay, it's right here. Right at the line. So this is your honey apple 
champagne scent. This smells kind of like um uh non-alcoholic apple cider. That they like a fake champagne. So this is Aqua Kiss Fresh Scent. Right here is kind of a watery, um, fresh, fresh scent. It's pretty. Has a little bit of, it says daisy, but it has a little bit of flower in here. So next I have Ice Sugar Plum. This is a pretty, uh, plum pie. Like a crust has that crust in there, so you, and it has some marshmallow in there, so it's a creamy scent, and it's pretty. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a little bit higher than I thought. Okay, so it's right here. About right here. I really like that one. That's one people couldn't decide if they liked it or didn't like it, or maybe they did decide and said they didn't like it, but it's one that I like. This is a Oldie But Goodie Gold Struck by Victoria's Secret. It's a, a perfumey citrus passion fruit scent. Very pretty. That's Gold Crush. Oh, that's that where the dent is at? It's right here. Right here. Now, this is one that has been in my collection for a long time because I had it in a closet and didn't know it was there. I forgot about it. Okay. So, this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. A very pretty fragrance. Oh, it's probably around the place that I marked. I might have marked it a little bit low. But that's where I marked it for December. It's in my project Use It Up, and I have not been using it. But this is a marshmallow pumpkin sweet fragrance. It has a bit of coffee in there. I can't really pick that up. But it's nice and pretty and sweet. And creamy. And the pumpkin is not as loud as you would think by you would think more spicy is not as spicy not it's slightly spicy this is heavily fruit by victoria's secret this is a peachy sandalwood fragrance really enjoy it yes and it helps to bring out the peach and perfumes this is vanilla mocha martini i think this is what i was calling the rose scent there are two different scents this one is like a um, creamy coffee with lots of milk and some vanilla, even some caramel. I don't know if it has caramel in there. It does not state it, but it's like um, a pretty coffee sweet drink. And this is where the dent is. I have been working on these, y'all. And it doesn't, I mean, and it helps that I spray heavy. This is Mad About You. This is another perfumery scent. It is bright, slightly citrus. I think this might have like black currant or red currant or something like that in it. It's one of those type of scents. So it's very pretty, and this is where the dent is. Okay, so now we're at Golden Pear. This is Juicy Pear Raw Honey. This is also like a cooked pear. It is sweeter than um, Pear Creme Brulee. This is from Pink. And this is where I am at on this bottle. That looks like it's going to make it to the winter empties. 
Okay, so that is all the fragrances that I brought out here that has a significant dent. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 35. 36. 46 fragrances with a significant dent. I know a lot of these I'm going to get through and they'll be in my project Use It Up. I'm happy about that. I'm glad with the progress that I've been making because in my mind, I'm saying, girl, you got too much fragrances. You have too many fragrances, fragrance mix. You're never going to get through these. But I guess the way that I rotate and try to bring them on my fragrance tray and sometimes focus on a few to you put them in my project, use it up, has really been helping. I'm glad with my progress. I'm glad that I have more than just a little bit out of each one. This is pretty significant dents in a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And that I know I will be able to finish some off by the end of this year. And my my mindset is right now, if I finish it off, and especially like one of the big sales come up, and I can find it again, I'll go ahead and buy it. Other than that, um, because they bring out so many new scents, I'm going to try some of them. I'm going to pass on some of them. And then I'm going to have some new ones in my collection. And the ones that I really like... It'll probably change from year to year, year to year, year to year, not year to year, but year to year. <laughs> and so we'll see some different things coming up as far as what I'm really enjoying and what I'm not or what I was just happy to get through, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this um, video. And of course, please like, share, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with people that you know like to hear about what the different scents is and what they smell like and you know what we think about all of these products that we buy um i just want to say hello welcome thank you i appreciate all of you being here and i will see you on the next one bye-bye why am i clapping <laughs> bye-bye